Okay, I'm going to be showing you how you could potentially improve your performance for Rust. I'm going to put a little disclaimer here that this doesn't work for all types of computers. And I know very little about how this actually works. Um, I have a Ryzen CPU with 8 cores. It had 16 earlier, but I disabled hyperthreading in the BIOS. This has seems to help help for other people. However, it did not fix the problem that I had, and which is where my game progressively got laggier. That whenever I uh, was just roaming around, it would stay at a low frame rate, even if I were to use the free command in the console. So, as you can see, all my cores here are being used up. And um, what I'm going to be using is a program called Process Lasso, just to change the affinity. You can change the affinity with a task manager, just by going here. But um, what I'm going to be doing is changing it for all the programs, except for Rust, only to use specific cores, just to give the game more space. And it's going to take a while with task manager. So, um... As, as far as I read up on Unity, it does not work very well for multi-threaded cores. And um, so it works well for Intel cores, so, so if you're, I mean, Intel CPUs. So if you're thinking of a CPU to get and you really want to play Rust and get good performance on it, then you should definitely look into that. So... Uh, my frames are pretty good for now, staying right above 60. And if, uh, just as, as I keep going on, it's eventually gonna get worse, just from loading bases. And I'm not sure why, but it just stays low a lot of the time. They're just lowered from 65 to uh, 50. Now it's rising back up again, but it's still lower than it was before. They're loaded in another base. Yep, and another. Now it's staying at 40. It was, now it's at 50. Yeah, the, the more running that I'm doing, it's just gonna progressively get lower and stay low. Now it's at 30 for now, it might rise again, but uh, you don't really want to be trying to PvP when you're below 50 frames. Yeah, uh, 40 is not really playable for a lot of people. So what I'm going to be doing is using Control all except for those two programs that I'm actually using. I'm going to set the CPU affinity to only use the bottom four cores here. And then I'm going to be setting Rust to use the first two. And I'm not sure entirely why, but I've, I've tried it with uh, using different cores, but it seems to work well with only two cores set for it to use. And my frame rate will be a lot better. It was staying at 50 before, but now it's staying over 60. There still is the stuttering problem, which I'm going to be looking into, but I'm not sure it can be fixed. But this has significantly helped my frames, and I'm always going to be doing it until I find any other type of method that might work better. And I'm just going to mention this disclaimer again that uh, this does not work for everyone, and it might not entirely fix the frame rate problems that you are having, but it sh definitely should help if you have a, a, a CPU like mine. The, um, it doesn't fix the stuttering with loading in bases. I don't think that's fixable. There, there's going to be large stutters and micro stutters here and there but the average frame rate is going to be good. I'm staying roughly around 60, except for when I get the stutters.
and I'd say it's pretty decent FPS for an area like this with this many bases. So hopefully this helps. Um, you can feel free to ask me anything in the comments or on Reddit, which is where I'm going to post it. Have fun.